Okay. Uh, so are we ready to take on everyone's favorite boss? And I called it that because, well, it's, it's true. It's really the, the boss that everyone seems to have as their favorite from this game. And for a good reason, which you'll see. And I really want this camera to be better. It's not going to happen. So that'll have to do. Um, we don't need hearts or anything. You know, I'll have my blue potion there for... Because the spinner is the only item you actually need in this battle. So I shouldn't be pressing down on the D-pad with the plus P by accident. I shouldn't even need the blue potion, but, you know, just in case, right? So it's a... It's a graveyard, it seems. Old skeleton monster. You still live. How astonishing. No wonder some call you hero. This is truly a bittersweet reunion. Truly. For I fear this is the last time I will see you alive. So, I'm not sure if we expected to see him here. But he's not going to fight us himself. Ooh! Can't be good. Well, we didn't really expect that we'd get through here without a boss, now did we? And this certainly is a boss. Twilight Fossil, Stalord. Okay, so how you beat this thing is really fun. So, you basically have to hit its spine with the spinner. It sounds easy enough, but it's going to send all these guys to block you. You have to hit it three times, and, well, the more you hit it, then the more guys are going to block you. So this is actually not easiest boss battle. You know, he's probably not going to hit you with that, so it's really not about taking damage. The blue potion might be kind of useless, but you never know. And the thing is, like, yeah, and they spinner things, too. That's probably what you're going to get hurt by more than anything. But they only do a quarter of a heart, so yes, these guys, these pinball guys. So you got to really aim well. Like, they never made a boss like this before in Zelda. It's like, you know, you like it. And when you do hit it, you automatically end up back up here. But if you miss it, then you're kind of stuck down there. So I like to wait until I'm in back of him, so I'm at as little risk as possible. Oh, I almost got him already. Yeah, so this is the last, this is the last hit. So, oh man, just that one guy. Yeah, this happens a lot. It's really like, this can take two minutes or ten minutes. Well, probably not going to take ten minutes. But it can take like two minutes to five minutes, pretty much. Maybe even less. But you know, like if you're if you're trying to speed run, this is really the most. Aw oh, man. Well, there goes my chance. Now this sand doesn't actually make you sink, but you can't use the spinner until you're here. Yeah. So yeah. So now there are two of these things. It's not a cakewalk. I mean, it's not the world's hardest boss battle, but... Oh! Did you see that? Yeah, sometimes that happens. You're slowing down, slowing down, maybe get one more hit. No, that's not really the way it's meant to do. That's not really the way it's meant to happen. That's the reason why you can't use your spinner on the sand right there. So if you're wondering why you can't, well, there you go. And he sinks into the sand... And we don't get any epic music for defeating the boss.
But, so now when we're here, so I just keep spinning until the cutscene happens. And here it is. So now we're way at the top. Kind of weird seeing that skeleton head right there. Well, where'd it go? So you think this boss is over? No, think again. It's a two-parter, y'all. And this is the part that most people remember it by. Right here. Now in the GameCube version, this is all backwards, so it's just so weird to think like you're actually going the other way. But yeah, like they didn't intend for you to be going this way. So, what you have to do here is when he shoots the fireball, dodge it. Now, if you jump too early, he'll see, oh, wait a minute, he's going over there. You have to jump just at the right time. And then after four, then you'll be able to hit him. So, yeah, there we go. What's a boss if you can't hit it with your sword, right? Maybe I should have jumped attack, but, you know, I, I did land 10 hits. 8 or 10. A lot. I, I distinctly remember that the first time I ever took on this boss, I could never get a lot of hits because my nunchuck kept screwing up whenever I was uh, hitting him. So, so yeah, now this, now this is going to happen. Make sure you're not too low, because every time you jump over there, you actually get a little lower. Because you have to jump kind of... You know, I'm not even sure if it's possible to get to the top of this thing, like, during the battle. Oh, yeah, see, right there, I jumped too early. Let's get it. It's funny, because this doesn't even look like the same arena where you did the first one, but it is. It's transformed it. Always try to be on the one that's taking you up. Yeah. You have to get, I think you do have to get a certain height before you can fight him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was a low one. I'm gonna try to do jump attacks to see if I can finish him. Whoa. Well, he should be dead the next one. Yeah, I think that it's actually impossible to kill him on the second phase because they have to program this. So I'm pretty sure that the first time we hit him next time, he's gonna die. I'll bet that's what's gonna happen. See, now there are spinners on both sides. It's like a roller coaster. Oh, I was wrong. Well, okay, first few hits. Maybe they didn't want to make themselves too obvious. Oh well, we killed it. So yeah, that boss fight, I, obviously, I, I like it a lot. You know, I, I like all these boss fights that are, you know, different different kinds of arenas, like that's, I love the boss fight against Kragma and Spirit Tracks, that's just, like that, that is good, but this one's good too. What does Midna say? Alright Link, let's go, we're close to the Mirror of Twilight. We are. Now, there is absolutely no way you can forget the heart container because you actually have to walk across here. It is in your path. They should have put it, like, on this path. You know, it's like, at least they didn't, like, put it on the outer rim. Like, sometimes they do that. They'll put the heart container. Like the boss fight against, um, Twin Rova in Ocarina of Time, they put the... They don't put the heart container in the central pillar. Yeah. 
thank you all for watching. I think I'm going to call it quits. Remember how I said it wouldn't take 10 minutes? Well, I meant the first part. I swear I did.